guys! Whoa, that was extra high pitched. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a PLT, pretty little thing, try on haul. I love doing these videos, you guys seem to love watching them. This video is sponsored by Pretty Little Thing, so thank you so much, Pretty Little Thing. So without further ado, what is that in my hair? Let's get straight into the video, and I'm gonna show you what I got. This is probably my biggest haul that I've ever got from PLT and I think it's the first time I've ever got shoes from PLT and they're epic so I'm gonna get straight into it and show you what I got and I'm gonna start with this here guys look at this jacket is or is this not completely epic oh my god it's so warm I wore it yesterday and it's absolutely bloody freezing in Ireland right now like legit I think my car told me it was four degrees yesterday and it felt like minus 40 to me and I was wearing just this jacket with like a t-shirt underneath and I was actually not dying of cold outside which is rare for me because I'm usually constantly cold like I even get chill blains on my fingers in winter because wow my hand is brown <laughs> because I'm constantly cold but this jacket is so warm and I showed it to my mom and she was like oh my god it's even lined I don't know why she's got this obsession with like coats being lined but apparently it's a good thing and this one is indeed lined and it's very very warm it reminds me of like 90s grunge style um like when I first put it on I walked downstairs my mom was like oh is that Darren's I was like no it's mine it's from Pretty Little Thing but I I did get it in, what size did I get it in? I think I got it in like a large style. Oh no, I got it in medium and it's really oversized. Like it's super chunky, so comfortable and it's got this massive collar. So it keeps your neck really warm as well because I actually don't own a scarf. I really need to get myself one. But I didn't need it yesterday because this was like up here and keeping me super snuggly and cozy warm. I love it. It looks vintage, but it's not. I actually went a bit crazy with the coats because like I said, it's getting really cold. So I got a few different coats. Let me show you. It's so cool. Like this coat is just so ostentatious I love it with me like the more ostentatious a coat for winter is the more I love it like I remember Axl Rose I've got these like pictures saved on my phone of Axl Rose back in the 90s and he's got these absolutely ridiculous faux faux coats and I'm like I need those in my life because he's my style icon and yeah this one is basically that so I absolutely love it it's huge I feel like a bear just like wrapping myself in it. It's really, really long. It is super snuggly, this like faux fur. It's kind of velvety actually, but it's really, 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 really soft. The color is like metallic ruby. I bloody love it. And again, it's got that huge collar, so you can pop the collar if you want, if it's cold outside, and you'll be like snuggly warm. It's perfect. Yeah, that's okay. I'm wearing this one today. <laughs> Guys, just look at this material, would you? Like, look at it. Oh, I love it. It's kind of like a rug in coat form. The next coat I got is this one here. It's like that teddy style coat. Super shaggy, fluffy faux fur. I do have this in white as well, but I chose it in black this time because black goes with everything. Again, it's lined, so my mum will be pleased about that. I just feel like it'll go really well with like a pair of jeans and a tee. It's definitely more casual. It's not quite as in your face as the last coat, so this is like for more casual wear. Then to throw you guys off completely, let's just jump from coats into bikinis because um, everybody needs a bikini in winter. <laughs> These bikinis are so cute and I couldn't resist. Like PLT has really, really, really nice bikinis in so many different styles. And I'm thinking I may try and get back to Australia in February or something like that if I can afford it to go see my the rest of my family and to absorb some vitamin D. So I got some bikinis just in case. So I got this one here, which I love because I do have have small boobs. I know people are sometimes like, what are you talking about? You have big boobs. No, I don't. I mean, they're round, but they don't like protrude very far. But this one I like because it's like padded. It's got like padded cups. So it kind of like pushes what boobage I have and makes them look bigger than they are. And it's quite supportive as well. So if you are a lady of bigger bust size, this will be quite supportive. It's literally like a bra, like it's got underwire as well. So I think that bikini top is so cute. And then I am gonna pair it with this bikini bottom here. You know what's another good thing about PLT? You can buy their bikinis as a set or you can buy them as separates, which is very, very handy for me and what I usually tend to do because I'm much smaller on top than I am on the bottom. So like I would usually buy my bikini bottoms in a size eight, but my bikini tops in like a four or a six. Because sometimes when I buy my bikinis in a set, like if I get it to fit my top half, the bottoms are too small. And if I get it to fit my bottom half, the top is too big. So it's handy when you can buy them as separates. 
So these bikini bottoms here are high rise, is that what you call it, when it like sits over your hips. They are so sexy, I absolutely love them. They're quite cheeky, but I think they're awesome. And like in Australia, we are kind of all about our bikinis, like the smaller the better. And these ones are that, so I love these. They're actually really, really flattering as well. They kind of like hug that like hip area right where you want it to. So these, these get an A plus from me. While we're on the subject of bikinis, I got this very strange bikini top as well. I've never ever had a bikini top this style before, but I've seen them all over Instagram. And it's this weird kind that has this like strong kind of like underwire here that sits up between your cleavage, if this is making sense. And they looked so good on Instagram. I was like, I need one of that in my life. And when I first put it on, I was like, how does this work? It took me ages to actually get it on properly and like to cover the nips. But once it did, I was like, okay, this is epic. It's very, very cheeky and very sexy bikini top. But if you're into that style, which I am, obviously, I think it's really, really, really cute. This one's not padded, but it does have the underwire. So if you do like that extra bit of support under the bust area, this will be good for you. Okay, now this here, apart from my coats, I'd say this is my favorite thing that I got in this haul. Wait, do you guys see this? Look how pretty this is. This is a little jumpsuit, which I plan to wear out over Christmas. I might even wear it on New Year's, but I haven't decided yet. But it's like crushed purpley velvet. It's so cool. Like, look at the material, guys. And it's just the most flattering jumpsuit in the entire world. It, it is low cut, but I just think it's super, super cute. And it's got a sash around the middle, so you can tie it in the front if you want to, or you can tie it in the back if you want to. And it's not a dress, it's like little shorts underneath. This is definitely my favorite thing. I love this. This is so cute. So this here is the other outfit I'm tossing up between wearing that one there or this one for New Year's Eve. I haven't quite decided which one yet. So let me know down below what you guys think I should wear on New Year's Eve. So this is the other option here. As you can see, this is covered in tiny little sequins. They are gold. It's very bougie, very pretty, very extra. I love it. And it's got the cutest, tiniest little straps that go over your shoulders. I also got a pair of jeans. I can't remember the last time I got an actual pair of jeans from Pretty Little Thing, but I was going through their website, like choosing my clothes, and I was like, this is a very, very cool pair of jeans. Again, it's kind of like 90s grunge style. Like, guys, look how ripped it is. It's ripped at the front, and it's ripped at the back. I absolutely love them. I don't know, maybe something to do with like the pockets being so large. They make your booty look really, really, really good. And I love, love, love the color of these. They just look vintage, even though they're not. And if they were vintage, you'd probably end up paying a fortune for them because vintage stuff is so expensive. But with these, you get that cool, grungy 90s vintage look, but they're actually new and so affordable. I love them. I just know my sister Nia is going to come over purely to steal these, so I'm going to have to hide them. I like these a lot. Then with those jeans, I paired it with this bodysuit here, which is currently inside out. This bodysuit here, which is just a plain white, kind of thick material scallop. Is that what you call that neckline? Like a scallop, I think, sweetheart neckline bodysuit. The good thing about this bodysuit is it is like a cheeky cut bum. So it's like a G-string bodysuit, so you won't get VPL, which in case any of you guys are wondering, VPL stands for visible panty line, which nobody wants. This neckline is so flattering. I think it's so pretty and also the top of it is lined So no one's gonna be able to see your nips through it then the next things I got I mean it wouldn't be a pretty little thing haul if I didn't get these because I'm obsessed with them leggings <laughs> I've spoken about these so many times These are the very best leggings in the entire world and in winter and autumn and spring and sometimes even summer as well. I live in leggings. They're just so comfortable, match with everything and you can move in them and it feels like you're not wearing pants. But the best thing about these ones is they are so flattering. Like I know I'm not wrong in saying that so many leggings are very unflattering. They can like sometimes be see-through with the us and you can like, you'll be grocery shopping and people are looking at your bum or they kind of like cut into your hips and give you that muffin top look or they're just too tight that you can't actually like bend properly. So these ones are high-waisted which is important to note. And then they've got this thick, pretty little thing band at the waist, which kind of like hugs you right at that like small part of your waist, which is why they're so flattering. I know they're not see-through. In my last video, people were like, oh my God, they're see-through. They're not see-through. I just have one, two, three, four, five, six 
lights shining on them, which you wouldn't really have in real life, which is why they may have looked a little bit see-through, but trust me, they are not see-through. So I got these in grey, charcoal grey, I think these ones are called, and I also got them in black, these ones here. Another thing to note is that these are 95% cotton, which is really, really, really good, and they last for so long. I know I'm going on about these leggings, but guys, I bloody love these leggings. I've got a few pairs of these that are like two years old, and they look brand new. They don't get holes in them. They don't like thin out in the knees or the bum area. They just wash so well. They hold up really really well and they're so affordable If you don't have a pair of these leggings in your life You need them and then come back and tell me how good they look and how comfortable they are Okay, the next thing I got is just like a cozy comfy jacket because cold and look at it it's super fleecy on the inside, it's so snuggly and so cozy and so warm. It's actually really thick as far as jackets go, like some jackets I find it's just kind of this outer material and then nothing on the inside, but this is lined with this fleecy material and it's, oh gosh guys, it's so warm. And it's got this massive oversized hood as well. Let me show you. Ah, I love it! Ow! <laughs> my camera card just decided it was full and I had to swap it and then I keep my leg on my table. You know what, I'm gonna mix it up a bit and I'm gonna show you the shoes I got. How cool are these? I didn't realize how many shoes Pretty Little Thing has on their website. They have so many different styles. They've got like chunky boots, but all the ones I wanted were sold out and I was like, no. You've gotta be really quick with Pretty Little Thing because their stuff, honestly, it goes on the website and then it sells out. So if you want anything in my haul, I always say it, go straight there and get it because I'm not lying when I say stuff sells out so quickly. So I got these sneaky and they're so cool. I haven't actually worn them yet and I kind of don't want to because they're so clean and I don't want to dirty them. They're that fly knit material I think is what it's called. So this is all like knitted material up here and it's super super soft and then the sole of it is kind of platform and chunky and it's got like really really good tread on the bottom as well. And another cool thing about these is that they come up kind of high. So they'll hide your socks as well. I don't know, I just think they're so, so, so cool. Okay, I've got a question for you guys. Is it acceptable to wear a black dress to a wedding? Not that I have a wedding coming up or anything. Like, not if you're the bride, but like if you're a guest. I've got this dress, and it's so classy and so beautiful, and I just love it, but it's kind of like formal in a way, because it's very, very long. And I was thinking when I was trying it on, I was like, is it socially acceptable to wear a black dress to a wedding if you're a guest at a wedding or is that like rude? I know you're not allowed to wear white, but can you wear black? I don't know, I've like, I've only ever been to I think two weddings in my entire life. But anyway, this dress again is that beautiful velvet material. It's so long, it's really weighty as well. It's really, really good quality. It's got like one leg high cut. So even though it's a long dress, it's still sexy because you can if you want to poke cheeky leg out and it does have um like wire here so it stays in shape when you're wearing it so even if you do have minimal boobs like me it's gonna stay up i actually got a few dresses that are bandeau style because that is my favorite absolute favorite kind of dress to wear i just think it's so pretty and so flattering it suits so many different body shapes so i got this dress here and this is another one that i'm like thinking maybe i'll wear for new year's eve i didn't know what to choose so look at the material of this one guys, it's kind of rose gold in a way because it's like a dusty pink, right? But then it's got this gold thread all the way through it and so when it hits the light it's like shimmery gold and it gives it this whole like rose gold effect, so pretty. And the boobage area here, they're actually cups. I really really like this, it's not too short but not too long either so it's kind of like a cool party dress for the Christmas season. And because um, when I find something I like I just never differ from it, I got another strapless dress. <laughs> And this is another one I'm thinking I might wear for New Year's Eve, but I'm also thinking I might wear it for Christmas because it's that kind of like festive green shade. And this one is so pretty because it's got the sequins on the front. It's only the front of this one that has the sequins, by the way. The back doesn't have sequins, just the front. And it does have like a band kind of under the bust area across here. So it hugs you right where your ribs kind of are. And then the rest of it just kind of like smooths down over your hips so it's a really really flattering dress. Let's go back to bikinis for a second because I got another bikini set which I think is so cute. It's got like a little like knot at the front here and then you can kind of pull it wider if you want to if you have bigger boobs or you can make it like more narrow just depending on how you like fit it to yourself. This bikini came as a set and I just got the whole thing in a size six, which actually worked out quite well because these bottoms actually fit me really well because they are that high cut like 
bikini bottom brief style so they sit right up on top of your hip bones they're super flattering and the color of it is so nice it's like that cherry burgundy maroon shade I love 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 it I got a full one piece swimming costume as well I don't often wear one piece like swimming costumes I'm definitely a bikini girl but I saw this one on the website and it was so like 90s Pamela Anderson Baywatch style I was like okay I need that in my life so I ordered it and it's as you can see it's bright red but the pretty thing about it is it's got this sash that goes all the way around so you can tie it at the side or you can tie it at the front or you can tie it at the back the choice is yours and it's really flattering I think sometimes these style I've noticed like sometimes the high cut one pieces can look a bit weird but I think this one it just something about it works I really, really, really like it. We're almost to the end of my haul, guys. I told you I got a lot of stuff. So the next two things I got are two party dresses, but they're really, really cute. So this one here is like a dusty pink material, and it's so floaty and so pretty. I feel like a fairy when I tried it on. It's got these bat wing arms and a sweetheart neckline and this cheeky little, like, peephole here at the chest. I thought these were shorts, like a jumpsuit when I first saw it on the website, but it's actually a dress and it's so cute. It's like so floaty, so you can do that spin and it all kind of goes whoosh. I filmed that so many times just because it was fun to do. It does have straps as well and they're adjustable, so if you want to wear it a bit lower, you can. If you want to wear it higher, you can do that as well. And then the sleeves, like the bat wing sleeves, are off the shoulder. Then the other dress I got is just like kind of casual wear on a Saturday day at the park kind of dress and I think it's really really cute. I love little dresses like this that are just comfortable but they're cute as well. So this is what this one looks like. The material is really thin, really floaty, really soft. In fact this dress would have been perfect when it was summer because it was surprisingly hot in Ireland this summer and this would have been absolutely perfect for then. So it's just a really cute, playful, fun, comfortable little dress. This is the last thing I got. It's a Minnie Mouse onesie. How cute! As you can see, he's got a Minnie Mouse hood and, like I said, it is a onesie. So it says Minnie Mouse here. You've got your little hands that poke out here. It's got a zip all the way from the top to the bottom here so you can pee nice and easily. And then this is what the back looks like. I just love it. It's so cute. And it goes all the way down to your ankles. It's so soft, so cozy, so snuggly. I feel like I just want to live in this and wear it everywhere what is in my hair. They also have this in red. I couldn't choose, like, I didn't know whether to get the red or the pink, but then I decided to go with the pink because pink is my favorite color. So I'm gonna wear this to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link every single item that I showed in this video in the description box down below. So I'll just do like the exact link to the shoes, like basically to everything, so you guys can go and find it nice and easily. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love your guts, and I will see you in my next video sometime this week because my mom's here i'm not entirely sure of my upload schedule this week so forgive me for that guys i was trying to be so organized and like pre-film everything but it didn't happen but i am going to try and get as many videos out this week as possible for you guys and i'll probably let you know on instagram when i'm going to be uploading them so if you don't follow me on instagram you need to my instagram is at stephanie Le no it's not my instagram is at underscore stephanie lane underscore because somebody else had my name love you guys and i will see you sometime this week